Okay, welcome back to another Dune Imperium Uprising game. Whoever the yellow player is, well, I guess whoever they were is, to, seems to be in a rush. Looks like we're playing out of the fourth position, which is no surprise. I've been getting a ton of fourth place uh, or fourth position games recently. Let's take a look at this opening Imperium row, first of all. Actually, a really stacked Imperium row. Public spectacle is amazing, obviously. People will probably early reveal for that. Space and Girls' favor, also really good. Model pitch, though, I've been growing on. Deliver agreement, not a big fan of. Imperial Spymaster is also very good. So let's see here. Um, as far as leaders are concerned, decent options here. Uh, I haven't played a later Amber Matuli game in a long time. Oh, God. Who do I want to pick here? Princess Irlan is very interesting, especially with a strong deck building. And there's a lot of combat leaders left in the game as well. Uh, Margo, I consider combat. Gurney, combat. Fade can be combat. Muad'Dib can definitely be combat. So let's go with a deck building style leader. Let's go with Princess Irlan. I don't play a lot of Princess Irlan games anyway, so I think it could be fun. Especially with some good cards in the row. Maybe we can pare down our deck, get a ton of public spectacles off, and we can just play for alliances and stuff. But we'll see. I am uh, pretty excited to get some Dune Imperium Uprising in. I don't know why I keep calling it the entire name instead of just Dune Uprising, but here I am. Uh, looks like Blue is going to be going first. They get last pick. I'd have to imagine we see Gurney and Muad'Dib out of either first or second and Fade. That, that's my prediction as the other three leaders. Gurney, Muad'Dib, Fade. One day we'll get a Amber Matuli game in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was right. These are the uh, the meta leaders right here. I mean, we also have a meta leader. I'm not going to like act like I'm high and mighty. We didn't get any of our uh, persuasion cards, which actually I'm not too upset about here. I don't hate... Um, we could also just go assembly hall with signet ring, early reveal, and grab public spectacle. We have a diplomacy here for blue. They'll hit Fremkit. We have a seek allies. They'll go to desert tactics. They'll throw in three, blue threw in two. The first combat is the skirmish for the mouse rat. We have diplomacy here. They'll just head on over to dutiful service with seek allies. So we know they had their diplomacy now, so that's a bit of a mistake. Uh, as for what we do here, I think it's going to be signet ring, and I think we go to assembly hall so we can early reveal for public spectacle. I think that's our line. We'll get rid of a dagger too. And then if it doesn't work out, we can always um, reconnaissance to like uh, Eric Keen. But I like this line. We'll see. Someone else probably early reveals here. Uh, not bad. And we will trash a dagger from hand with our signet ring ability. <laughs> Always click the wrong button. Will we see the early reveal? Uh, we are playing to early reveal this. Looking like blue will not. Blue will just take the extra troops. Red will not. They'll play their signet ring. They'll go to Eric Keen. I'd have to imagine they throw this troop in here. Eh, maybe not actually. They'll put the Spy down. The Spy always makes sense on Bene Gesserit. It's a really good spot. You can go to Espionage Draw 2 and put the Spy right back. Here's the Diplomacy for Green. They get to go uh, deliver supplies and dutiful service this round, which is just amazing. Uh, we are going to Early Reveal. We reveal four and a dagger. We take Public Spectacle. Green is uh, extremely impatient. And I think that is it. So now we're just going to play for the uh, faction game. We do need a source of spies. I think that will be uh, some trouble for us. But we can play to espionage and stuff. And unfortunately, uh, Red did deny that spot from us. A six reveal here and a take leadership. A really great card for a very combat heavy game, I'd imagine. Three and a dagger here for Red. Probably covert. Yeah. Oh, we would have loved to have gotten covert operation. And two and two daggers for Greed. Unfortunately, they didn't put any troops into this combat. And they couldn't have, actually given their exact hand. And it looks like red just takes this one down. So they get the points. Blue gets three Solari for second, and we're on to the next round. Quick, uh, quick pace game. <laughs> we have both of our faction cards now. We did not get them in our opening hand, which was fine. We ended up going for the draw anyway. We have first worm access going to red. Luckily, we have special missions, so we can definitely get a public spectacle uh, line off here. The next combat is test of loyalty. Pretty big Solari combat. We would like to get some troops in for this one. Red limps a single troop with their first action. Probably because they're eyeing up Siege to Boar as their second action. So they can decide later if they want to put the troop in. We have a signal ring here for Muad'Dib. They do not have their faction access. Their diplomacy is in their discard. They can reshuffle here. Actually, we'll just search that real quick. Both of their daggers are in their discard. 
I think red revealed one dagger. I can't remember what blue revealed. We have both of our um, faction cards here. Do we ever let blue take deep desert here? Maybe. I don't hate uh, just going dutiful service, grabbing Arakeen contract. We could also consider grabbing um, deliver supplies for the water. Just play it slow here. I kind of like that line. We'll just play both of our faction accesses this round. If we're going to play both, yeah, I think we just play for, uh, make a play for big spice here or big uh, water rather, yeah, and just go for uh, like a deep desert line or something. We don't necessarily want to draw, I don't think. So I like this. We'll go, yeah, we'll go water and then if we can, we'll hit dutiful after that. I think that's okay line. And we'll play our seek allies. We'll just take the water. A water now is better than a water later, if you ask me. Uh, this will get automatically trashed. Here's the Seek Allies. We allow Blue to also get uh, Siege Tabor access to help balance the game. That was uh, an intentional decision. They also throw some troops in here as well. So depending on what Red does here, we can potentially deny them three Solari. I'd have to imagine they're hitting uh, Siege Tabor, though, almost every time. Yep, there's the ring. Siege Tabor. They will pull back their Spy... I don't know where that spy was or when they got it. I'm a little confused, TBH, but they will throw a bunch of troops in here, so we don't even touch this comment now. So now we feel even better about this. We have a uh, spice refinery play here for green. Everybody else getting off to a really nice Solari lead. Green is going to push in over the top. Everyone using all of their forces now is great for us. I think now we just go for a dutiful service play. Yeah, Eric King's great for us here. We could also consider grabbing uh, Harvest as well, because we're pretty much guaranteed to get it next round. Maybe we do, actually. Three Solar is pretty nice, and that into Spice Refinery could be strong. Hmm. Yeah, because we're almost certainly going to collect either Haga Basin or Imperial, and we go second. Yeah, let's. I think we take the uh, Solari contract, actually. We'll go Dutiful. We'll take the Solari contract. I do, in general, like Eric Keen more, but I think Harvest, when we're almost certainly guaranteed to get the uh, the value, is just too good to pass up here. I keep hitting the wrong button because I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, let's see what Blue decides to do. We have four reveals, so we are set up to grab Sodokar coordination if it comes around. I'd be surprised if it did, though. We have a Signet Ring here. Are they going to take the Spice from us? It looks like they will. A little unfortunate, but nothing you can do about that. I think it is a good play to deny that line to us. They'll throw in even more troops. Oh, my God. Two sword reveal for red. We will keep in mind that they don't have any more. Do they pull the spy? Oh, they do. That's so good for us. Holy crap. So now we can actually get the spy on uh, Benny. That's amazing. One sword for green. And six reveal. So they'll grab uh, in high places, which is amazing, unfortunately, for us. And they will set up to grab uh, Swordmaster. We have a four reveal here. We will take Sardaukar Coordination. I do love Shiskali as well, but I think uh, Coordination is just a stronger card for us here. Especially we do want to be getting uh, Ember Access and everything like that. And we're about to reshuffle too. Uh, one dagger, one reveal for blue. So blue will eat this out. Ah, oh, God, all the stupid spy cards are coming out. It's actually super annoying. I think they probably go for Siege Tabor here. If I had to guess, but uh, they can go for the Guaranteed Worms as well. I like that. They do go before Red next round, so Red can't deny it next round. We just don't want them to put it on the Benny spot, TBH. I'd have to imagine Green will deny us the Four Spice from Haga, which means we have to go to a Waterline. Uh, where'd they end up putting their Spy? I don't even see it now. Oh, okay, they haven't decided yet. Okay, yeah, they'll put it on Haga. I think this also makes sense, especially with Worms. Uh, yeah, it passes around. So Blue does take this down barely. They get another Spy. They get a bump with the Emperor. They get the uh, Ornithopter symbol. And this game is skyrock, like uh, just really powering through right now. I think it's a pretty even game so far. Obviously, we've just started. I like our setup. We are the only non-combat leader, and we're playing for faction tracks. 
And fortunately for us, Blue decided not to put on the Benny spot. Red can still deny us if they draw into the ring, but they did have it last round, so it's a little less likely. Ooh, excellent, excellent. So we're really hoping that we can hit um, Haga here, ideally. And then we can go... Ooh, this is a little awkward. We were actually hoping not to see public this round, but it's okay. Having no spice is a little bit tough. Diplomacy here. Maybe they'll start working on the Fremen. I think that does make sense. They do give us the spice, which is not ideal for them, but it's great for us. Not getting the public spectacle off here is kind of tough. We might just use special mission so we can do it anyway. Okay, they go dutiful service. What contract do they take? They take the Eric King contract, so they're going to go for the big spice here. I think we um, need to go ring here. And I guess we just trash a dune. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then we'll just have to use public spectacle with special mission to get the value off of that. The only downside is we probably won't be playing our diplomacy, so we probably just reveal public spectacle here. So we will go here. We'll take all this delicious spice. This is a uh, dagger combat for us as well. Do we trash? I think we do trash a dune from our hand. I think that's fine. Yeah. We'll trash the dune. We complete our contract, so we get three Solari. And then we will throw in two troops here, and hopefully we can take this combat down. We have a Reconnaissance here for Blue. They're going to go to Spice Refinery, set up to get their Swordmaster this round. Unfortunately for Green, they are just short of getting their own Swordmaster, and no one else can get it before them to cheapen it for them. We're kind of fine with first or second here. Blue or red is the only one with worms access, so you almost always um, would want to hit Haga Basin, but we did block that. They go Siege again, blocking uh, blue again. I actually can't believe blue didn't go for Siege there. That's crazy. So green will go Imperial Privilege here. They don't have the Intrigue to cycle, but they do get an action back. Uh, we have a question mark for red. Looks like Blue's going to tell you a dagger. Who goes there round three? Okay, I think that's, I think we're set. Uh, do we? Okay, uh, so do we uh, actually just go Desert Tactics here, get our last troop in and draw? I think we do, and then we just reveal Public Spectacle. Yeah, we wanna get the diplomacies off where we can. I think putting the troop in is really nice for us here. And we do potentially just win this combat, which would be really big. So I think we'll just go for it. I don't think we'll get rid of the water just yet. Sardaukar is great for us here. Bunch of swords now. And it gives us a decent reveal. Four to reveal. So we could potentially get a uh, true trance or something here. A dagger for blue. We expected that play. So they get an extra action. We have the Imperial Spy Master for red. So they are going to get a intrigue and two troops. And they probably just throw in both here. Yep. They don't have the spy with the pull back now for their uh, devious strength. They do trash a dune though from their hand. Important to keep that in mind. Reconnaissance here for green. They'll probably just limp in a troop here. You're almost certainly guaranteed to get the troop back, considering that unless blue uses their ring to get a troop, it should be pretty safe. But there are no... Uh, yeah, they'd have to go to a desert collect spice kind of thing. Uh, they do complete their contract as well, so they go up to three water for the deep desert spice. I'll reveal here. So we get two daggers, because uh, one for each uh, imperial card or emperor card. We get a spy, which we will almost certainly be putting here. It's just so good for public spectacle. And for here, do we go true trance or do we go Shishkali here? I think true trance. I think we just want the faction access in our deck. Although I do love being able to uh, trash more cards. I think this is the line we want to go for. We're just playing the alliance game now. I think that's it. Hopefully we can win this combat. I don't think blue can take it away. Blue actually takes back their thing. I think they were thinking about maybe coming into this combat. Oh, they're going to early reveal. 
They have what, five? Okay. And they're looking to grab Shaskali here, which I think is a great buy, especially when you have leadership. Because this will increase the daggers of every other revealed card, and this reveals for two daggers. So this just makes you an insane threat in combat. And they do. I love that play. Long live the fighters comes out, which is also insane. Two spy reveal for red here. So luckily we do block up the uh, espionage shot spot before they get that. They can pull back as well, but they don't. Good. Green reveals. They have no spies for this, but they do reveal two, four, six, eight, nine. So they get the uh, spice and slow already. <laughs> We're early now. Okay, combat. Okay. Uh, we take the... Uh, we get the victory point there. We get a bump with the Spacing Guild. And we get a contract. Which one do we want here? Ugh, maybe Sardaukar. We're never getting Research Station probably, right? And this could give us an extra action. And we have the Sardaukar card. So I think it is this. And we get a troop back, right? Yeah. And I think we've all taken our stuff. We do reshuffle here with a pretty good deck. Ah, oh, and we get the starter card coordination as well, so we could go into this combat if we wanted to. Um, but do we want to is the question. We probably want to draw here, if I had to guess. Or we could just get a bunch of troops into this combat. We'd get two of the spice back if we won. I kind of want to draw, though. Who? So red can beat us to Swordmaster here if we went Reconnaissance, Spice Refinery. It's probably still... Is it worth going for that line? I am tempted to go for this combat. Can anyone take the combat away from us? I don't think so. And it gives us an extra action, but we can't do it first is the thing. So we'd have to do it second. So I think I'll actually just go for the draw instead. Let's see some more cards. We can throw two troops in as well. And it gives us some more options here. Because I don't think we get Swordmaster ever. I think Red denies it to us. Hmm. It is close. For sure close. Uh, yeah, maybe we do just set up for the stupid sword master. We'll force Red to take it first. Yeah, I actually, I, I changed my mind. I think this is a good line. We will throw in the one troop as well. Maybe we get the spice back. I think this is better. If Red wants to go there first to save their spy, they can. We have a Shiskali play for blue. Eric Ian it is. They get to uh, trash a card to draw another card. They get rid of one dagger. Kind of suspicious, actually. I do not think I'd be getting rid of daggers in Blue's position. You're going for a heavy combat strategy here, and you have leadership to increase your daggers even more. So I'm actually not a fan of that line. Imperial Spymaster here. So they do recall. They get the alliance with the Fremen, and they throw in a troop. So they have been making great use of their spies. Signa ring here for green. They grab all that spice on the great flat. Makes a ton of sense, and they get to call, draw a card for the ring. Our move here, we actually do get the sword master crazy enough, and we will take it. Very nice. And now we can just play uh, Sardar Car as our last action. Can't believe we got there. Red was not in the uh, in the business of denying us. Fortunately, we have a reconnaissance here for blue. They finally get their worm access, which is really important for game balance here. So red can't just keep getting. Uh, Free worms over and over again. The wall is down somehow. Uh, blue, red must have broken the wall earlier. I didn't even notice. I feel like usually it makes that sound effect like atomics, but didn't do it this time. So wall is down. So this is an important potential block here by blue because red was hoping to get Swordmaster as their second action here. Oh, and they still are. Okay. Which means that red can now block them on Haga. We have another Imperial Privilege play for green, so they are just cycling like crazy right now, getting a ton of extra actions. With our action here, I think it's going to be Sardaukar coordination to Arakeen. Just keep getting our victory points here. We do get an entry card for this as well, thanks to Imperial Birthright, so we go for this. We'll just keep on racking up points. Uh, oh, this is very interesting for us here. Now we have a victory condition to play for. I think that's it, right? We, oh, we get the uh, contract here. Between these, Arakeen is always going to be better for us. Oh, Spice Refinery come, uh, contract comes off. This is an insane one. Getting to draw two cards for Spice Refinery is nuts. Blue to move here. I think you always have to just go Haga Basin here. Yeah, and they do. You get the worm in. You get the double stuff. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you, always, you always go uh, worms here. 
Uh, special Barnaby's good. It's not that good. Now you give Red the worms. Uh, that's a complete mistake, I think. I hate that line. Blue's typing something. Hope it was worth it, Blue. Didn't know it was blown off. Yeah. Tough. You hate to see it. Uh, I don't know what Green just did. Oh, they forgot to take back their agent. That's fine. They will play in high places here. They do not get the ability off, but they can go to Sardaukar. Seems like kind of a waste. But I guess uh, you're still getting your points. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably go there. Get some spies down. We will be drawing into our public spectacle, so we can really start racing up some of these tracks now. We will reveal. We have four. What do we want to grab here? Probably prepare the way. Do we grab more than one? Prince's Irulan is nice in that you can trash these for uh, more stuff here. It's just whether or not I go for that or Paracompass. I mean, prepare the way is always just better, right? I think, do we go one? I think we go two. It's just future Spice Force. We don't mind blowing up our deck a little bit as Irulan. And we do have the Air King contract as well. So I think that's fine. We do get a little value out of third here, which is super nice for us. Because uh, Blue did not elect to contest on this combat at all. They grabbed Long Live the Fighters, so that's probably why they ended up getting rid of that dagger. So I respect the play. Uh, Red's a little bit upset that they only got to five here, so they can't get the Stilgar, which is an insane card for Blue. Blue has an insane engine going right now, and they are nicely set up to win some Tier 3 combat. Wheel of six for green. They're going to get the Stilgar. And freaking Price is No Object comes off. So some really powerful cards coming off right now. This is the current row, if you're curious. We will pass, of course. Oh, we have a retreat here for red. So they get a spy anywhere. And they will put it here. Uh, okay. Green already taken, started taking their rewards, but the two spice is really nice here. We still have Sardaukar coordination with Sardaukar. Whom, tomb. <laughs> I had at least one spacing here. I have no idea what Blue's saying. Whom, tomb, Kai spy. I had one at spice hajj. That's weird. Where is their spy? That's crazy. I hope I didn't accidentally do that. Green knocked things off earlier. Oh, okay. Well, they shouldn't have this many now. Okay. I was wondering if that would count for one, but it doesn't. Cool. Okay. I think we're good, right? Okay. We have all of our faction access here, and I think we just start going crazy with the draws. The only thing is we need to keep uh, strategic stockpiling in our range. Yeah, we just got to really hope that the uh, Tier 3 for all the uh, alliances doesn't come off. And hopefully we can just close out the game pretty quick. We could always consider Signet Ring Destroy True Chance for more Spice, too, to fuel our strategic stockpiling. But we're going to draw a ton of cards here, so we'll probably just draw back into those uh, Prepare the Ways. We'd love to get ourselves a um, High Council, so we can maybe get some Spice and Slows going. It's going to be a tough road, though, for sure. We could always play Special Mission. Public Spectacle to uh, Spice Refinery as a line. But that doesn't feel great. We probably want to be Public Spectacle into Espionage most of the time. Because we want to save this Spice for Strategic Stockpiling, almost assuredly. <sighs> okay, we're going to have to get rid of a card with Covert Operation. 
And they go uh, here. Did they have a spy there? I guess they did. Uh, we will get rid of our Dune Desert Planet here. A little unfortunate. We're going to have to cycle back into that now, potentially. Just so you can see, it was Covert Operation. When you play, each opponent discards a card. So I think they did pull back this spy here as well. Highliner here for green. They're going in. This is a heavily contested combat right now. Nobody going for Worms yet. I really hope Blue's going to, but we'll see. Uh, Red says one second here, so we'll wait for them. <laughs> Yo, Green, play like a normal human, please. <laughs> Stop throwing stuff. Only pass when you are done. Thanks. Yeah, I agree. I think Green's being a little uh, little rambunctious. Uh, I think we public spectacle here. Just draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, I like that line. The only downside is to that, we can't get High Council, but I don't even think we're getting a Spice and Slow this round anyway, so I think it's fine. We'll public spectacle. We'll go here. We will recall the Spy, of course. We have to draw two cards. Hopefully it's something good. Not really. Uh, this is why it kind of sucks that we had to shuffle this back in. Uh, we will put the Spy back. And do we just take the point here? I wonder. Maybe not. We could take it here, and uh, we could also hit Siege to Boar. Start getting Worms and stuff going. A lot of options to us here. We could also consider going up with the Guild. Is anyone really heavily contesting us there? I don't think so. Green could. Green could contest us in both spots, though. I think I am going to need to go for a alli an Alliance. So we'll go for that one. And green just played one of their diplomacies, so I feel a little bit better about this line. Here's the worm with the ring, so Gurney gets an extra troop on top of their worm here. Red can certainly contest. Green can also obviously contest hard here. This is a great combat for the worm player to go into regardless of the place they finish, just because you get your water back, uh, plus an additional water, of course. And it is a victory point combat for everybody that's potentially set up to fight for this combat. Red, green, and blue could all get their match from this uh, mouse rat combat. Yeah, these are not the draws we were necessarily looking for. I think we just end up going water, and then we probably don't even play. We probably just play diplomacy true trans here. Okay. Where did red go? Red went to siege to boar. Frem kit here for green. So they actually had a uh, still guard. So they're gonna have to fight for this. So good to know that this is out of the running now. But blue, they have to remember blue can reveal a ton of swords here. I would not feel comfortable committing too much. I think it might be a mistake to put a lot in. I think you need to hold back. I don't think you ever beat blue. Personally. I don't remember if they recently revealed it, but they just, you know they have so many daggers they could reveal. We also need to keep getting water so we can get strategic stockpiling off. Although, we will need three influence with the Fremen to get the second point. That is important to keep in mind. But I think we do just play our true trance here. We'll just take the water, get our alliance, get three Solari. We would love to be able to get a high council at some point here. I think that is it. And then last action is between Signet and Diplomacy. Probably going Diplomacy. We could just go to uh, Secrets here. Because we're just trying to get... We're the only one playing the faction game super hard here. So we'll just keep kind of playing to our outs. Our draw is not going to be good. We did reshuffle with our Diplomacy, True Chance, and uh, Public Spectacle out of the deck. So we do. We are highly incentivized to keep drawing. But at least we have two Prepare the Ways coming up. So we can cycle through pretty quick. And we have two Water for a Research Station if we need. Uh, green, blue plays long live the fighter so they can draw three, look at the top, trash one, draw one, discard one. So they, I think they discard, or they trash a convincing argument, which makes sense given your strategy here. They're going to discard Shiskali, really? They must have drawn something pretty good there to get rid of this. You really want the swords in this spot. Oh, okay, they get Spice Refinery done, so there's a chance they draw back into Shiskali. You never know. They put no more troops into the combat, I don't think. We have a signal ring here for red. They put in two worms <laughs> and they complete their thing already. That's crazy. They're all the way at the end now. 
Wow, well played uh, to red. I don't think I've seen it get finished that quickly before. They've really been cycling through their deck. Yeah, yeah, red dumps in here. They're going to try and beat blue. Paracomp is by. Uh, where do we go here? I don't think we play the ring. I think we just play our diplomacy and we keep working on our tracks. I don't think we want to get too greedy with what we're chasing here. We could also consider grabbing this Imperial Basin Spice, which is just insane right now. It doesn't do a ton for us, though, besides setting us up for stockpiling. Like, it doesn't really equate to our victory point just yet. Although we could eventually, we could turn that into a shipping play. What do we get rid of, though? With a ring, nothing, right? Hmm. I think we just go for the intrigue, and we just keep pushing our faction influence points. Yeah, I think this is a line. We gave up three spice, which is pretty ugly for sure. But I don't think we need the spice just yet. I say as we have strategic stockpiling, but uh, it's actually so close. But I think this is our line, unfortunately. Ah, uh, three spice. It's so good. But yeah, no, we have to get our faction access out there. Uh, we will not recall the spy, right? No, we'll keep the spy there. Okay, not ideal, but we can cycle it in. Ugh, green is so annoying, I swear. I think that's it, though. Okay, so uh, reveal of a million swords here for blue. I think green was right to not heavily commit for this combat. I think red is going to be hard-pressed to win this. We have a reveal of four here, which isn't going to do much for us. Is there a world where the Imperial Basin Spice stays there for another round? Probably not. Wow, 11 swords. Crazy. So many daggers. Yeah, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't know where they're getting 11 from. We have, uh, they play something else? Yeah, they have, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like double checking myself too. <laughs> 11 swords. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll take the, uh, we give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure it was just a misclick. It's kind of a weird uh, thing to do otherwise. Uh, so red can play with perfect information here and use detonation to throw in one more troop to move just ahead of blue because blue has no entry cards. And they'll just grab a Mala pistol. We get the reveal here. We have five. Or four, rather. I don't think we grab anything else, do we? Our deck's kind of big. We could grab one more prepare the way. I think we probably just do. Yeah, screw it. We will. We don't want to get too many more, though. I think that's enough. We don't need this. Yeah, we have a retreat here from green. This makes sense. Just pull back two. Everybody gets some water. Spice refinery contract goes to uh, green here. Why is everybody grabbing contracts? Oh, okay, they got it for their retreat. Red just grabs a million of these harvest contracts, which makes a ton of sense, obviously, because of all the spice on Imperial Basin. Four spice on Imperial Basin is insane. Maybe I should have... Uh, Denied that, but eh, whatever. Yep, Mala Pistol, Imperial Basin. Makes sense. Get the refuel on Spice, get a ton of Slar. That is a, an excellent play. Ugh, maybe we should have denied that. Who knows? But we're doing well right now. We are in first. It's just whether or not we can actually close this thing out. I think we have to try and draw through our deck here. We'll probably do it with a Prepare the Way to Erekin. Completes our contract, too. We could also consider setting up for a research station. Green has a full garrison, some of which you will want to save for the tier threes, but some of it you should also probably use now. I think you throw a worm in here. First action. Oh, okay. Maybe not. They could double up on the spice refinery contracts or go research station. Or no, they had research station. They go spice refinery. I think that makes sense. Our move here, I think we do just go for multiple card draws, try to draw back into our influence cards. We can go Eric Keen, limp in a troop. 
Seems fine. Yeah, and we'll play the prepare the way just so we can get extra card draw. We really want to reshuffle here. We don't love our cards right now. And we definitely want to be going Air King for our contract too. So let's do it. We'll go here. We draw. We get a convincing argument. We draw again. There it is. We complete Eric King contract, so we get a troop. And we also get a spy. Now, where do we want this spy given our exact hand? It's actually not a straightforward decision. Probably just put it on research station. We could also consider putting it on here. Actually, I really like it here. That lets us cycle through more too with uh, Solari. I think that's a great line for us. We can get Imperial Privilege double draw, potentially. We put in two here because we're just trying to get whatever rewards we can from combat. Now, we're never winning a combat against these monsters. And then I think that was it, right? I don't think we have anything else to do. We got our, yeah. I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Shiskali played for blue. They're going to continue to trash and draw like mad. We're going to get a bunch of Solari here as well. Um, who got the uh, Bene Gesserit card to buy Spice and Slows? I did not see, actually. That's part of the problem when the game moves this quickly. That people are buying stuff and grabbing stuff all at the same time, and it becomes a little hard to follow. But somebody has the uh, Price is No Object, I think is what it's called. And it honestly could be red or blue. They're both playing like they have it. Okay, we have a uh, In High Places here for green. They'll get their victory point. I think this is a great spot for us to just go public spectacle to uh, Imperial Privilege here. We're trying to need to hit a Spice and Slow this round, I think, to keep our momentum going. Is there a world where we can ever close out here? We can get our Fremen point now. If we can get strategic, we could potentially get strategic as well. Yeah, let's go for it. That would put us, uh, this would put seven, then to eight. With the spice must flow. Yeah, maybe. We could get the nine here. But yeah, let's uh, public spectacle. We will draw because we're only at two, four, six, seven right now. Uh, we will pull back the spy. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice high persuasion here. We get to take a bump anywhere. I think we do take it with the Fremen here. Where else could we take it? Where else would we want to go potentially? Interestingly, we could go, so how much do we have right now? We have nine in hand. We can get the strategic stockpiling point. Do we just go for Fremen here? I think we do. I think we just take our guaranteed Fremen point. We could also go for Benny, which could be interesting, but I think Fremen with strategic stockpiling just makes sense. Potentially get another point. So we could set up to get two from strategic stockpiling if we can somehow get another water. I think that's okay. Oh wait, crap. We get to cycle out an entry card and we get our spy bag. You're always forgetting something. Uh, this is what we got, nah, not very good. There's the price of no object, so it is controlled by blue here. So I'm glad I didn't set up for the Benny Alliance. I mean, we could have still forced our way there by uh, using our spy, but we want to hold on to our spy for our stockpiling. Green did not commit anything to this combat. Red is going to go all in here. It's not a match for them. But honestly, us getting second here is still pretty nice. So with the way this played out, we probably should have just went for... But actually, we can still... Can we get a water here? Yeah, we can. We might actually, can we finish this out now? We can get the, oh, actually we might be able to finish this out here, which is crazy. We just need the water. So it's a disaster if we're blocked at Fremkid exactly, I think. So do we go there first? And then we just gotta hope that we can get the siege. I think that makes sense. We should put our spy there now. But yeah, I think this is the line. So we do have enough still. So 
if blue wants to save the game, they have to block us at C tier. And our play is very telegraphed. Oh, whew. they have a leadership. So we may have made the right play there. I think we're actually going to close this game out right now, <laughs> which is so funny. Oh, man. I feel for these, uh, for these people. They could not have expected us to close this game out this fast. And the way we're going to do it, we get the spice must flow, and then we get two points from stock. Oh, wait. Do we get? Oh, yeah, we do get the stockpile, and we get a special mission. <laughs> God, I'm scaring myself here. Okay, they will pull back the spy for the two swords. Makes sense. And they get to put another two spies back down with covert operation. We have one action left here. We will be taking the water. We'll throw in the troop, too. Why not? Red should be afraid. Me going from kit there does highly suggest a... Uh, I mean, no one can expect this exact line of cards, though. So we will go here. We'll go Siege. We'll take the Hook Water Troop. Throw it in. And I think that is it for now. Blue's up. They reveal. Three, a dagger. They'll grab a prepare the way. And I think we just close it out here, crazy enough. Before the tier threes even. Oh man, you don't see uh, games pace out this quickly most of the time. It is usually done with a card like strategic stockpiling. Uh, so we will reveal, we get a spice must flow. We will play a special mission, pull back, get two spice. We'll play strategic stockpiling, three water. And we get two points. Actually crazy, where is it? Insane luck. Man, this was all skill, I'm afraid. <laughs> GG. Wow, what a fast-paced game. Oh, my God. We finish it out this early? Oh, this was a fun one. And I only needed one alliance here, too. I got my match. And uh, once I got this, I had, a, like, a line to play for. I'm obviously glad I didn't end up going Sardaukar now that turn. So uh, let's see here. Blue takes it. They do have a match with Ornithopter, so they'll go to seven. We get an entry card here and a spice and a troop. Uh, nothing relevant here. Dang. Opportunism for green. Didn't have time to play it. Well, this was a really fun game. Uh, we just really went breakneck speed with Irulan here. Yeah, Public Spectacle was able to accelerate us to get a bunch of points. It was obviously worth uh, early revealing for this. Yeah, very, very fun game. Very quick. It does feel bad as the opponents, especially as someone gearing up for a super combat strategy like Blue. They never actually got to see it realized. But uh, what are you going to do? But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.